Twitter beans. All that Twitter typing, they see me and I ain't do nothing. Caught out with some biker shorts, I'm showing off my. I'm feeling good tonight. I'm outside with y'all. Got a brown skin hit with. Okay. Let's go. Shut down. Who won't smoke? Say what? Get it off your chest. Turned up with my heel. Turned up with my silk. Turned up at the pole. Yeah. 60,000 fans came to see me do my thing. Got a million and one haters, and they jump and kiss my. What's up, honey? This is your girl, Make Me Stay, aka the Hot Girl Coach, reporting live with the future president of the United States. Hey, everybody. What do you have to say to the American people? We are not going back. <laughs> I'm so proud to be from this city. You know, they say if Kamala wins, then the whole country will be like Detroit. Okay? Proud like Detroit. Resilient like Detroit. What's up, everybody? We are just a few days out to the election day, our primary election on Tuesday, June 25th. But the good news is that the polls are open right now and we are here for our brother, Jamal Bowman. We want to turn out the vote. Loser. I don't care if you live in New York 16 and are turning out to vote for him. I don't care if you live outside New York 16. We are texting our friends. We are turning out. We are Loser. calling our friends in Tuckahoe, in White Plains, in New Rochelle, in Yonkers and telling them to vote for Jamal Loser. Bowman. She's fire right. now, y'all. That's what That's we're doing. Right. She's fire now. Let's get That's it popping. Right. The Loser. polls are open today. The polls are open tomorrow. Make sure you get out the boat. Loser. Election day is Tuesday. Let's go. We need record turnout Loser. all across the district, especially in Yonkers, Mount Vernon, New Rochelle, Co-op City, and Edenwall. Let's get it popping. Let's change Loser. the world. It's the many versus the money. We're going to win. Right. Let's go, baby. We're going to win. We're going to take Loser. Loser. I'm going to kick some Wall Street ass. So let's go. Stop the bombs. <laughs> yes, chat. So you guys see it. I ain't got to go into much detail. And exactly this video specifically, this stuff lost them the entire election. This didn't just lose Kamala Harris her election. It lost Democrats the election as a whole. In 2024, people don't want to be forced into what to do. They don't want to be told how to think, how to vote, and who to vote for in 2024. Not by people that they know they've been paid. You see, back in the past, if a celebrity come out and endorse a candidate, it would look somewhat genuine. Because it would be a random endorsement, and it appears as if it's... It comes from the heart. In 2024, we have access to data that we never could have believed in the past where celebrities were deemed like godly. We have access to FEC reports. We have access to the management companies that work for, which we found out political campaigns send them money. We have access to PR firms, which sometimes get four copied emails from campaigns for them to post up from the PR firm to the celebrity. We understand <clears throat> That labels sometimes have their hands in it. We understand there's so many different systems, FEC documents that you can look up to see where the donations are given, nonprofit organizations to see if they're getting their money from there. There are so many ways that we can validate that it's not real. It's messed up the illusion itself. Celebrities just don't have the weight they did. Like I revealed on Fox News yesterday, streamers are the future. They are taking over. You don't have people... In 2024, they have the same amount of views as Kasanat, Aiden Ross, or I Show Speed has. You just don't. Tom Hanks cannot pull the numbers that Speed has pulled. Damn near, I don't know if many celebrities could. What Speed has been doing, it looks like something similar to a Michael Jackson. And it's completely genuine. And Speed did not endorse a candidate. But what did happen is he didn't endorse one. And what's more important than that, Aiden Ross and Kasanat both spoke on the election. Aiden Ross, of course, he endorsed Donald Trump, and Kasanat dissed Kamala Harris, claiming that the Secret Service tried to reach out to him, and he denied it. These young men, they're getting involved in politics, and they're helping shape the world stage. People understand that celebrities are typically bought personas, and having a thousand of them on stage, it is starting to warn people or signal warnings to people that that means you don't really have a strong message. So... In a way, the same walls they build up are the ones they get trapped in. These celebrities are poisoning their entire base. It's poisoning the chance for them to win a vote this year because if people see too many celebrities, they start to get a little bit weary. We're not in the past. Opposed to that, we're moving forward. And just having Cardi B come on stage, 
having the hardest time of her life to read from a teleprompter, that just doesn't appeal to voters anymore. I mean, truthfully, when you have someone that comes on the stage and they are confirming that they're waiting for their own script, someone runs on stage to save them, does that really help you win votes? We are in the year of truth and everything is being exposed. And like I said, too many celebrities just don't look good. Trump has utilized regular Americans, citizens from the states that he's trying to win, and they just speaking about how life was tough and how Trump made it better. That stuff, it resonates with people. The same way how Mark Zuckerberg changed up his whole swag. He's now trying to be this relatable, somewhat type dude. He's cutting down from all of the great studio production and all of the marketing and just wearing a regular t-shirt to appear relatable. Relatability is ruling it in this year. It's no longer about who can look the most professional, but the most relatable. And Trump had a relatable campaign. Now, what's more relatable to the viewer right now? Someone that comes in that's a farmer out in Wyoming or something like that, telling you about how the price of the I mean the, the price of the taxes in the Biden administration has made it to where he had to sell off his chickens and lose his cows and he's getting ready to close down his farm versus this. One second, guys, one second. Okay, so I don't take lightly the call. Sorry guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, guys. I've been waiting for this moment this whole life, my whole life. I need patience over here. Patience, where are you, girl? I need patience over here. She coming, Cardi. She coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How you guys doing tonight? How you guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? Yeah, she made history. She made history. Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to change these four years? No. Are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're going to make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. Thank you. That is not relatable to the average American. I'm sorry. That loses you in an entire election. Rightfully so. We don't see those things coming out of the Trump campaign. These celebrities were hurt. Their worst mistake, and I predict coming into the next couple of elections, they're going to completely try to utilize influencers on the small scale. No longer the TikTokers either, but influencers, possibly YouTubers, people that have an impactful audience that is on a relatable scale. People are going to move away from large productions, lower their productions, downgrade everything just so they can appear relatable. It's the main reasons why a lot of streamers don't wear jewelry. They want to be relatable. Relatability is through the charts and celebrities just aren't relatable they never really were and that's kind of what made them celebrities that's what made people appeal to them but now the things that made people appeal to them are the same things that disgust people the alienation people want to be united again we're tired of this elitist type of society that we have man and classism america is ready for a change please like comment and subscribe most importantly click the notification bell it's actually taking me about to be 12 hours. I started working on this at 10 o'clock. It's about to be 9. It almost took 10 hours to make this because I switched to OBS from StreamYard. It was tough. Hopefully it works good. I kept having choppy quality. Please comment. Let me know how I think. Let me know if I just cancel this and go back to my old format because it would be a whole lot less work. But if it is worth staying, I'll stay with the content like this, with this quality. But... It's all on you, of course, because it's about what you like. Not really so much about me. It's about the viewer. See you on the next one. Seriously, please comment. Let me know. Send me a message on X. If you don't want to leave a comment, I'm not trying to comment uh, form. I really do want to know if it was worth all this work. Thank you.